Hi, this is Emmanuel. All right, so today we are going to be talking about how to run two-way ANOVA on the in R. Okay, so the two-way ANOVA is used to estimate how the mean of a quantitative variable changes according to the level of <coughs> two categorical uh, variables. All right, so now the two-way ANOVA is used when we want to know how uh, um, two independent variables in combination affects a dependent uh, variable so now let's take for example let's say uh, we are having a research on the type of fertilizer and, and plant uh, density that will produce um, a much uh, uh, crop yield we make use of a uh, two-way ANOVA to do that all right so now quickly let's go over to uh, our console before you start uh, you make sure you done you install these packages here over here make sure you install these packages then after you you've installed them you load them in the library all right now let's um let's start okay so now um, we are going to import our data using this code and assigning uh, this under this uh, using this uh, variable so control enter All right, quickly let's um, desktop. All right, you can see that the data has been loaded on R. All right, now let's quickly um, move to to ANOVA. So look at looking at this code here. This is the code we would use in in, in order to obtain our two way ANOVA. So the the data we just uh, we just um, loaded we can actually see the data here my data all right now here is the data so this is the data right so the data is having density block fertilizer and yield all right so the next uh, we are we are going to look at uh, how to obtain our two-way ANOVA and this is the formula for it okay yield tilled fertilizer plus density okay and the data is gotten from my data here and this is going to be our assigned variable all right so I'm going to hit my control enter and after which the summary of this one here the summary and this is the summary here all right so for fertilizer you're having 7.49 exclamation minus of uh, 05 which is less than uh, 0 0.5 and for density we are having a uh, 0 0.000173 which is also less than 0 0.5 so we say there is a uh, statistical uh, significant difference here okay so now we can actually have an interaction between these two to actually see between fertilizer and density to actually see the whether they are the significant difference or not okay so in doing so this is uh, the code i'm going to this is the code i'm going to write the command i'm going to write okay so uh, the only difference between that of and for the two and over is just this asterisk okay so instead of plus you make use of asterisk after doing that you hit your control enter then you hit a summary of that okay now this is our interaction okay now from the interaction you see that there is no significant difference okay so we can actually uh, add our block variable block variable are used to add uh, to reduce uh, ex uh, extraneous uh, data data that can cause our, our model to be uh, to be biased okay so in doing so here what we're gonna do we write this command plus density plus block okay and after which we hit our command our our control enter and a summary of that Alright, so now this the block variable has been added and this is what we are having. Okay, so we can check for the homoscedasticity to see whether it actually follows it. Alright, in doing that, this is the command we are going to write. Then we hit on our control enter. This we just minimize it. Then also to plot our, our block, we hit it, control enter, then we hit
Let's control enter again. All right, now let's go back to uh, uh, what we just minimized. And now here, this is what we're having. All right, so what this thing is trying to say is, if you look at this, you see that there's a res red line here and it's close to zero. It's horizontal in nature. Look at this one, the same thing, and look at this one as well, the same thing. Now, what this is trying to say is, all our data are concentrated uh, very close to the mean, which which will imply that our model is not biased at all. Now, looking at this normal Q to Q, you observe that um, this is looking like a slope, and all these um, ball-like um, figures are very much close to the slope, which say, which would also um, confirm affirm that our our model is very much on track. Okay, so the homoscedasticity uh, helps us to 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 check whether our model is actually biased or not biased okay so from this we would say that our model is not uh, is very much biased uh, sorry it's very much unbiased all right so if your if your data is not this way all right there are other tests we can actually use in order to test your your to test what you, your own data uh, that we that uh, that will be coming up in our subsequent uh, videos all right so that is where we're going to be run, running up uh, for today like this video and subscribe and if you have any uh, problem you go to the comment section and drop your problem your comment all right all right now uh, see you guys in the next video bye for now